listeners and subscribers, thanks for tuning in. So before I start, I guess I should just say, I am at peace, okay, with the information I talk about here on this channel, alright, and I'm also at peace with how you folks out there accept it, because how you guys choose to interpret the information or what you guys choose to do with it, that's your own right, yeah, I really don't care, okay, because I know that this content is only for certain folks, and it tends to be folks that have their eyes and ears open, okay, where they don't have their minds wired shut, and they got their thinkers on, there's actually something going on up there in those noggins, but for most people, I don't know if that's the case, all right, because most thinking people, they realize something is afoot here, right, so we just had that shooting and i'm not going to go into all the nefarious aspects of the shooting you can always tell most of these shooters they're hopped up on the drugs man i'm telling you it's not about the guns it's about the drugs and the reason why the mainstream media mouthpiece won't tell you the truth about what's really going on is because they don't want to not receive their stipend their check from these drug companies it's one of their biggest sponsors these agencies these drug companies and pharmaceuticals okay they're a big part of the the mainstream media okay they give lots of money to them so you you don't want to see uh, the media is not going to want to see their favorite donor okay go down the drain all right so that's why they don't tell you that a lot of these shootings i mean they'll tell you right on the label of these drugs that they cause homicidal suicidal tendencies okay so if you take somebody who's already sort of borderline anyway and you give them these drugs all right and maybe you even beam some of this electromagnetic energy at them with, with these uh, cell towers and other covert uh, technology then may you've got the perfect recipe for this to happen okay and another thing this channel is going to be getting away from is going to be covering the political issues now I'm not much of a political channel it's more parapolitics and stuff like that and since politics is the vehicle they often use to ferry their nefarious new world order agendas uh, it, it's only inevitable that I'm gonna it's gonna come across my radar but really the left-right paradigm is so entrenched and extreme ends of the spectrum one end on the other uh it doesn't it doesn't make much sense to go down those roads because it's it's a trap i mean even when we're talking about politics today even if you win the sort of little perceived battles it's only something that comes back on the people right you know the republicans they want the government to force their ideas on everybody and uh, the democrats they want the government to force their ideals on everybody so you know there's a big difference between them right and it's just interesting. I mean, it's also it's also pretty discouraging and annoying, and it just tells you the state that we're really in. But the right, they don't see that they're just like the left, okay? The left berates Trump when it's undeserved, but the right zealously guards Trump when it's equally undeserved, all right? Because most of these politically-minded people, again, they aren't really truly thinking people. They don't care about truth, and they only want to see their opposition take it on the chops. And, of course, to achieve that, you know, they usually invoke the same evil in themselves, as their opposition, okay? And that makes both sides virtually indistinguishable from each other, okay? And that's not a good place to be. That's that's the political situation. So while we'll still parse out the nefarious aspects of it, we, we're not going to go down, you know, the traps that they get you fighting over this and that, you know, these facile issues, which really bears no relevance to the reality we're really in. So there's that. You know, it, it's sad because we're being conditioned to only see things from one perspective or the other and throw out haphazardly anything else that doesn't fall in line with our rigid beliefs and we're being conditioned for that that's why i said in my previous video that we're gonna want what's coming okay this nefarious agenda we're gonna want it all right but here's the thing there's another way to look at this the the encroaching control of the system one another way to look at this is that potentially we're seeing the death throes of the system and they're throwing everything at us because they're trying to keep a lock on the control mechanisms why they've got a lot of people uh ingrained and entrenched in one side or the other or divided in some way there is a good swath of the population that is still increasingly waking up you know and god says he's going to pour out his spirit upon all flesh okay and i think that's part of what we're seeing i think part of the reason we see these seemingly instigated crisis okay is because these are used to take 
again, take control of our mental malleability after these crises so they can enact policy that we'd otherwise say no way to. And that's part of the reason why we'll want this stuff. But that's why we see them getting so sloppy and how they've, they've, they're doing what they're doing is because they don't really care anymore. They've got a timeline. They're trying to, uh, they're trying to get something done by a certain period of time. And I think what we see is desperation from the system. It's why they're throwing everything they can at us right now. So there is, there is, there is some positivity to this. I do think that that is one case. It's just unfortunate that not of not enough of us are seeing that to really make a difference because this 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 waking up is sort of a, a crawl and one zombie at a time type deal. But I think we I think we have enough momentum to if SHTF happens, there will be small factions of folks getting by on their own guile because they were prepared for situations they weren't led down the primrose path like everybody else is being. I, the information's out there. It's up to you whether or not you want to absorb it. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. California Carter signing off.